decided on when to take that adventurous trip why not include Burkina Faso on your bucket list and thank us later Burkina Faso was formerly known as Upper Volta before it gained independence in 1960 the name Burkina Faso means land of the honest men the capital city Ouagadougou is a French adaptation of the native name Wogodogo meaning where people get honor and respect the flag of Burkina Faso is stripped red green with a central yellow star yellow represents the country's mineral wealth red represents the revolutionary struggle and green symbolizes hope and abundance the star stands for Sankara's revolutionary principles we are glad you could join us on the Midday Show Live on Nako Television International. We always have something to tell you about a country, an interesting thing you need to know, and why you should visit that country. I hope you're going to have fun with us today because we're going to be having fun talking about Burkina Faso. I have Tony in the studio with me. Hi, Tony. Hi, Linda. How are you doing? I'm Make person tell you. I don't need don't to always be the one to praise yourself. You're good, you're cute, you're coming, handsome. I was even coming to you. Okay, come to me, come to me. Hey, well, you look dashy. Oh, thank you, thank you. And the, the suit is doing justice to your waist. Oh, really? Like, I just feel like, I don't know, maybe adding more of this suit to your wardrobe. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, thank you. You're me. a very kind person. Are you? Did you know? Uh, how many times I exhibited that action to us? Never ever. Oh, wow. Like, this is the first time I'm it's like, touching. It's, it's like, it's touching as well. It's shocking that you are trying to talk down on me on this. I'm not trying to talk. Why, why are you trying to accuse like, me like right I now? Know, I know I know a lot of things I've done for you. Emphasis on the done, done for, for you. Me. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody will hear this, you think you're just saying the truth, but you're just, Wow. Are you for real? You know, you know. But for the sake of, say, we are on air and you don't want to, you know, talk yourself less, I can understand. But in real life, you know what it is. Mm. It is what it is, or you know it. Um, I choose to be silent. You know, we are talking <laughs> about land of honest men, yeah? So you're trying to be so honest. I'm trying to be honest with you right now. So is this you being honest? Yeah, this honesty is speaking. So should I say something? Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> then, oh, I just thank God you know you don't have to say something. Because, like, really, no, we're talking you, about the land of honest men. And right now, what's happening? You don't say honest women. say honest men. That's what I'm so saying. So it's only men that so get are you to being be honest. honest right now? Women don't get to be honest in Burkina Faso. Men. It's men, only men. Men is Emphasis reality. Men. men is reality. Please. You want to teach me English? I'm not trying to teach you, but I'm only trying to tell you this context. Mm. Like, it's relative. Really so, okay. please, do you understand? Yeah. So, anybody can be honest. All right, all right. And talking about Burkina Faso, okay, there's something interesting about them. Okay. When you talk about um, humility, mm, respect. When you, when you talk about respect, when you talk about hospitality, mm. like just give it to the people of Burkina Faso They're because so big on it, true. they they take out time to welcome people. Mm -hmm. As a visitor, you have a lot of reasons to visit Burkina Faso. True, true. You have a lot of reasons to go do business with them. Mm. Have just do the businesses and then whatever it is you want to do. So far as it's a positive thing. You're welcome to doing that mm. and then you don't take people for granted mm. if you find yourself in Burkina Faso you're you, you've actually found yourself in a place where you're going to be well taken care of mm, and then when you talk about uh, meeting them one-on-one -on -one, doing business and all of that like they don't just they don't take people for granted they, they give you that attention you deserve they give mm. you they give you that time they give you whatever it is that you need mm. in order to make you feel very comfortable mm. you find yourself in a city in which you don't know anybody be rest assured that there's someone that's going to give you that hand that's going to support you that's going to help you that's going to make you understand a lot of things so then this is just something that's interesting for me to mm. to actually talk about when you talk about hospitality when you talk about respect when you talk about people who want to show you that love who want to welcome you into their homes and all of that and how they treat their women is something that one should actually um, yes that's the word <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is they actually make you feel you're welcome. important, make you feel welcome, make you feel that 
like you're 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 at the right place so then if you feel you're a visitor and then you want to find yourself such a country don't think twice about going there. that's what i'm saying Burkina Faso should be in your bucket list mm, if you better. want to travel when you talk about the adventure when you talk about places to visit when you talk about things to do like you are welcome in visiting Burkina Faso like and do whatever it is you want to do you know one thing that 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 tends to be key for me in the Burkina Faso is the fact that they are honest <laughs> Because as far as I'm concerned, I am so big on honesty. And that was why I was actually wanting to start off the show. But you were not honest. I was. You weren't. We shouldn't argue about this. No, we should. Remains, because since you want, we are talking about the land of honest men. And then you're trying to tell me you that to, you you've been bring, doing a whole bring, lot of things for me. You want to me. bring the native side of me on set. <laughs> And I don't want to, I don't want, want to, I don't want to fall the te- I don't want to fall temptation of what you're actually trying to to okay. put me out of the image you are trying to put out of me. But then I'll just maintain my cool, maintain my me maintain my stillness and composure. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, I'm actually key on I mean big on honesty. Uh-huh. And you know, when you have an environment that that is filled up with honest people, you should know that everything that you would want to do over there would strive. And then the development would, of course, be of high esteem. They would res- like, there are a lot of things that would, of course, uh, 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 promote itself even naturally because of the honesty that is 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 inbuilt uh, that is inbuilt inside of them. And you know, when you arrive at a country as such as that, I believe, aside from honesty too, I think hospitality and truth is one thing that would also help you to uh, to, to 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 acquire whatever thing you want to acquire. And aside that, hospitality is also a key thing for me too because I think I feel there's a way you will feel when you arrive at a place, like a, at a strange place, and then you are being welcome. Like they make you feel probably those that you meet there make you feel welcome that you don't even want to go back or even remember True. where you come back from. Like I think feeling like that wouldn't want you to even be in haste to go return to where you come from, probably you came from, and the likes of it. So. Places like that are places that you would want to spend the rest of your life in. If possible, invest whatever thing you want to invest. If possible, as well, have fun. If you want to as well get married to their wives or to their, to, I mean, not to their wife rather, to their <laughs> to women their there and then to, to, to their men. They're like, it's something that you can as well get because they are very, very nice. They are kind, like at large extent, at all levels. They are extremely just the definition of honesty. And that's the one thing that I really, really would want as as as, as regards emulation to my being. Because I already have this foundation of honesty in me. <coughs> so when I travel to a place <laughs> where honest it's only honest men that you will find there, I feel it will build more on my honesty. Okay. You know, as much as I know some people would be, you know, wanting to be in uh, con- contradicts what i'm saying who are the people i don't want to mention names i know them some of them are actually at the tricaster right now <laughs> <laughs> okay names. okay but honest is just the thing for me and that's what what that's what define who tony is as well and that's why i was being key so if anyone is going to describe i was being keen tony. on when talking about working up working up because of how upright they are in everything is it the agriculture is it the culture is it anything culture they are just like they, they, they hold it to high esteem anything uh religion they hold it, they hold it to high esteem anything uh uh uh, uh, uh what was it called uh, government or res- anything resourceful i think they are really really big yeah on they're, those. They're, of course like they, that's what i want to talk about when you talk about being resourceful like whatever little you give to them they make big out it comes, of it. It comes back like, in yeah, so like that's just something that should should make one want to travel, mm. want to visit Burkina Faso, to actually want to get something out of it. And then it's interesting to know that um, when you visit such a country, you have a lot to come back with. True. Like you learn from their culture, you learn a lot of things from what they do and how they go about life. And then when you talk about how they do um, the division of labor, work, and all of that, you said even both men and women also go to the farm. True. And then they, they, this one knows what to do, this other one knows what to do. So like, there's nothing, you don't need to don't tell anyone. Yes, yes. So everyone just knows his own position and then what to do at the time to do it mm. and all of that. So then they don't just make it look like you're a woman, so you're supposed to just be at home, take care of the children, take care of the house and all of that. Women, no, women, they make women sure... Their farm. 
they farm, and of the, course. The That's what I'm trying to say. Men do there is just to do some minor, minor things, but even with the they... harvest, the women harvest as well. Yeah, so it's... then it's just interesting to know that you have a lot to do as a woman, mm. so don't just sit back and think, okay, because I'm a woman, I'm just supposed to be at home to take care of the children to do this and do that. No, like you need to go out there to work, even when you work in an organization, when you want to farm and all of that. Like you have the opportunity to do all of all the, all mm. those things. So then it's just interesting to know that they don't just keep you aside, but then they make they they, they, they get, get you involved, involved yeah. in everything you do. So then when you talk about music and dance, of course it's another thing again that they're into and mm. all of that. So then like you just understand that when you're when when you're depressed or rather you're having issues, challenges you're and all of that. Like the the thing the best thing to do is just listen to that music or just dance. Just dance, dance it out. Off, just dance it out because it's just it's more like it's going to give you more strength mm. in as much as you understand that there are challenges and all of that but then you're not going to die thinking and all of that but why not just release yourself from all of all those things like just do something that's going to help you out and all of that so then the people of um Burkina Faso actually they they are strong like their strength alone is something else when you talk about how they handle things and all of that like it's just good to know that this is a place where you can find yourself that people actually look forward to traveling to Burkina Faso mm. to either do business or go for the adventure and all of that. So then it's something that one needs to tell himself that I need to find myself in this country just to enjoy myself. It's and a place then for personal growth. Actually. It's a place where you promote your business. It's a place where you have fun. Mm. It's a place where you have a lot of places to visit, like tourist attractions. Mm. I mean, tourist attractions. attractions and it's like, it's like, it's just the place for it. And I think it's one of the most visited African countries. countries. Yeah, because there are a lot of things you would get to know. There are a lot of things you would learn. There are a lot of experiences you would as well get. And if you happen to be a lover, I mean, a lover of nature, there are a lot of things that you will get to know about nature and how magic, I mean, how mysterious some of these things have been preserved over the years. Then talking about <coughs> working at Faso, I think we should dive dive into um, marriage and family. Mm. The I think their their tradition about marriage is a common thing that is relative to all other African countries, country. where you see a woman, then you approach her, and then if there is an agreement between the both of you, you go over to the parents, and then whatsoever bride price that they have agreed on as part the ethnic group, mm. they let you know, and then you go back as a man to hustle and then bring whatever requirement that is required of you, and I think the marriage is done. Mm -hmm. So it's. It, the normal or common thing as regards marriage and as far as i'm concerned it's i don't think it's out of the ordinary from what we do over here in our country yeah and then it's the just the bold step and then you know if you are to give reference to the, the traditions of say back in the days where we see a lot of r d marriages where as a man you don't even get to know your wife until the day of the marriage or maybe some days to the marriage and then the woman you are being um what's the name um the, that act where you are being given betrothed, yeah, as a as a lady, you are being betrothed, say back, I mean back, um, uh, so, so as, far back, little. as far back as when you were as little as say ten or there. Sometimes you could so be less than two years. And I think those marriages probably work. Some and works, and then some doesn't, of course. Well, because I, would say, I, I would want to because say I think I think almost works. ninety or eighty percent of the ones I know about worked. Actually, yes, I mean, G weddings like it, it, it works actually, but then the thing is, these days they don't really put that into practice anymore. You, if they ask you to come and marry, so your, your, your parents arrange the man for you that you should come and marry, will you marry? Okay, should I tell you one Please secret? Tell me. Yes, there was a time, okay, not there was a time, of course, there was someone I was betrothed to, that was what they said while growing up, so like this happened? family, like they, they I think it's our family friend and something like that. So, the end but then, like growing up, did you people marry? No, no, no he's yeah. actually married now because the truth of it is that, like, growing up, I just told myself, No, this is not what I want. Like, I, I can't do it. this. Like, no, she I can't. Children do of now, I don't know what is good for actually, them. Actually, excuse you. <laughs> like, the truth <laughs> of it is that sometimes you just realize, Okay, maybe this person is not what I want, or maybe we're not compatible. It could be maybe the genotype or something, but then. People say you're picky about certain things. The thing is, you need to get your match. Uh, you need I, to I get think, someone think, you, are, you think, understand. I think, I think the level to which I would want to build on this is to the fact that we are built differently. We, 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 we our generation, our generation, it ranges or it differs, and then what we believe and some of the things that we are saying right now as civilization and stuff. 
has already eaten deep inside of us that we don't see some of these things to be significant anymore. Sure. We see them to be holding these traditions that should be abolished. But mm, then it, it is. is what it is. That and the thing Africa is, is. They, they tend to rub it on ladies, especially when you get to the age of 30 and then you're not married. They tend to make you feel bad. Or they tend to make barren. you feel yes barren. or barren. They make you feel like you're not. It's a um, thing, it's your thing, yes, your actually, like it's your problem and all of that. But then it's a good thing to know that there's one thing I always tell myself: there's time for everything. Yes. So when when the time comes, of course everything will fall into place. So then let's not rush into doing certain things and then end up regretting at the mm, end of true. it. All. It's, it's a common thing in Africa as a whole. So Burkina Faso too is not an yeah, example. It's not such. left out. Then talking about etiquette, <coughs> etiquette is. The common things or the common basic knowledge that we ought to know about mm -hmm. the Burkina, I mean Burkina Faso people, and then the, we, we are meant to know that their conversations are. I mean, their, their conversations are very direct, and of course, what you expect from honest people, they of course have to, to direct their conversations. Mm -hmm. They don't want to know who you are. They don't want to be blinded under the term of um, what's this thing? What's this name? Um, oh, oh God! Oh. This thing that they do just to make, just to please someone in the, in the presence of that person. I service. service. Yeah, I service. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you don't want to be tamed or be blindfolded under I service. You just tell you who you are, what it is, and that is just it. And I think that's one thing that must really be big upon as regards what they uphold as. And conversations are supposed to be direct, not indirect. We talk about uh, maybe let's say you're trying to send a message to someone you don't need to make it look don't like, around the bush. like you, you don't need to beat uh, around, around the, the bush. bush or try to make the person just feel complain. bad or just complain just come straight to the person and tell this is what it is let's say you don't settle ahead uh, uh, the like person, they don't take they don't take short dresses yeah they feel it is actually disrespectful or mm. you're not being decent True. and then smoking in public places it's and all of that is prohibited and so then it's good to know the land of honest people like you just need to be upright True. like you just need to live the right life like mm. you just need to live the life that people will see and then make examples someone will say even if you're bad you're still important because you can see you as bad example i swear <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> but that's of course that's like the, that's the thing. So then the thing is you just need to do the right thing. Like you just need to tell yourself that I need to be decent mm, and all true. of that. People in Burkina Faso don't take other things like short dresses, um, low cuts and all of that. They just want you to be decent mm -hmm. and then to represent their country well. Mm, true. When you talk about places to visit in Burkina Faso. Faso. First place to visit, of course, always like most countries that you want to visit has to be the capital city. Like True. that should be the first place to think of. Okay, I think things will happen here better and all of that. Mm. So then the first place to visit when you find yourself in Burkina Faso is the Wagadogo, which is the capital city of Burkina Faso. That is commonly abbreviated as the Waga. Like I always say, is it Oga or Waga? And then you said <laughs> Anyways, the capital city of Burkina Faso <laughs> is also home to the country's administration and economic center. A lot of things happen in this True. particular place. True. Like whatever it is you're thinking of, like the the activities, the wildlife, the, wildlife, social, the events. social events, the like everything, like it happens in the capital city. True. So if you find yourself in in uh, Burkina Faso, visit the capital city first to have an experience of a lot of things happening. The, the inspiring side will leave you overwhelmed, of course. Mm. And then you tend to think, okay, am I supposed to leave? No, do I want to go back? No, the city is a true hive of performing arts, inspiration, dance, live music, awesome festivals, and craft markets make for a memorable and rewarding travel experience and make a trip to uh, Uwaga. Wagadogu, 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 Wagadogu. 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 W
Sounds like Bobo to Bobo. me. Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> then it's actually the second largest city <coughs> in Burkina Faso. And then this, despite its size, the city has a laid back and exclusive feel, which makes it a favorite resting spot mm. for travelers from all backgrounds with all budgets. Mm-hmm. Meaning, it could be a, it could be a low, I mean, low budget thing, it could be a high budget thing, depending on your pockets. Don't go and overdo. The city is worth exploring. <laughs> in the I like this one. In the bar overdo. <laughs> the city is actually worth exploring during the daytime. But then the main attraction here is the nightlife. And then the music, the live music, and then the restaurants in the city, and some of the best Burkina Faso. And then the local music offer in um, various clubs and bars that attract the residents of the city as well as the tourists from Europe and then other states or other countries. So I, th- I feel is since it's actually the second largest city in the country, okay. of course, some of the activities can be likened to what you can get in mm-hmm. Ouagadougou. Mm-hmm. So a lot of wildlife activities, musical, entertainment, drama and theater, like whatever activities you want to At any time, into, you can have the life. It, like it, it, it runs like all through the day, through the night, like it's just, it's just so if you travel you. during the daytime, you find you have the opportunity to experience one or two things. If you travel in the night, night. you still have the opportunity to experience to explore, all these things. True. So we have um the Bamfora. The Bamfora is situated in one of the most beautiful regions of Burkina Faso, mm. the the Kano province, and then the town is not much of a draw for tourists in itself, but the location is perfect. Mm. And then the nearby attractions include the Tangrela Lake which is a great place to spot hippos. Of course, if you want to go and see hippopotamus, you should find yourself here, especially in the dry season and the Kinfigula waterfalls, which make for a great hiking or picnic spot. Yes, this is the place I should find myself for picnic and hiking. The Hippo, falls have their, no, have their <laughs> own parking area with security for self-dive holiday makers. So this is just interesting. There is security. Just, you. There's... <laughs> That part is not. Have you ever me. seen? Have you ever seen hippopotamus before? Yes, I have. So how was the feeling for you then? I was scared, to be honest, because you have to from be honest because we are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was scared to be honest. Like I was scared. But then I think um the aftermath is also yeah actually the aftermath yeah everything was fine but you know still you still so have that are you, fear are you in your essence saying that. you wouldn't want to have such an experience ever in your life again? I would want to. Then but from why, afar. Would you, why would you oppose? I'm not opposing. I'm just saying what I want. Like that maybe let's say situation the situation that, the situation that is going to present I love itself. The, I love the position <laughs> I'm putting you like. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if the, for the part of the hiking and then the picnic, I love. This is the part I love because you when what what gain would you have if you don't um, travel with friends mm. or if you don't make new friends in such a place, mm. and then you don't have the fun you want to have. You don't talk about things, play games, you hike and all of that. Like these what, are the things that you go back and have memories. Do you, like these are the things you go back and tell yourself. Oh, when I was here, this is what we did and all of that. Like you still have something to this say about it. Flashback and then you just start smiling to yourself. Like what? You start God. reminiscing. Oh. So the feeling though, then the fourth place is who, where they refer to as the Gorom Gorom. <laughs> Gorom, Gorom. Gorom. It sounds like when you when you when you when you when you when you flex on Kuli Kuli. But why should your mind go there? <laughs> it sounds like Gorom Gorom. And this actually is a town in the north of Burkina Faso, and then situated at what what was once an important location at the crossroad of the Sahil. And then the main reason to visit this town is, be- is without the question, the market of course, which is, um, which happens every Thursday. Mm. And then traders all over the country travel to sell their wares at this impressive market. And it is a great place for souvenir shopping with items ranging from jewelry to handcrafted leather items. like. There are a lot of things that you are likely to explore here because it's actually a market. It's a market, and of there's course. no way you can visit a country without not visiting the marketplace. Market because when you go back home, you will have those that would want to come and thief what you, <laughs> what 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 <laughs> you brought, achieve. what you brought. Because <laughs> no, to come and achieve it, to come and achieve. No, 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 no. I don't want to use what achieve. They will come and steal it, <laughs> and it's not like they will come and like take it without your consent. But then you'll be like, ah, the normal way now. What, what do you think I come for us now? You just carry travel all the way to 
working at Faso, coming empty handed, like what would you tell of the fact that you actually traveled there without not coming back with some certain things that they tend to do over there, like the handcraft and all of those things that they that they, 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 they do over there or they produce over there. So I think it's what I'm not the brooms though. <laughs> but you can still buy broom at home, but maybe you at least you bought this broom from Burkina Faso, so use it as I cheap. like it, it's something because it's just like something that is international thing. Of it's course, not, like, do you know what it means for you to buy broom and come back with teeth? It's like, international yeah. thing, so it, I think it's worth the buying Anyways, actually. Is, though. From Gorom Gorom. <laughs> <laughs> we have the early national park. The national park situated in the southeast of Burkina Faso is one of the four Burkina Faso and is home to thousands of animals. Mm. This is another part where you meet different kind of animals. The park occupies an area of around 700 square kilometers and spices that call the park their home include lions, antelopes, monkeys and hippos like you said. And then formerly the park was home to the African wild dog although it is thought that due to the expanding human population and other factors the species may have been wiped out in the area. Hmm. The watering hole in Tonga is one of the park's most reliable and popular animal watching spots and draws a variety of wildlife year round. A variety of guarded tours are available and are usually offered at a fair price. So if hmm. you need someone to go with you to accompany you, just the way you said the security and all of that, people who will show you one place to, to the other, this animal to the other animal, and they make you feel comfortable and safe. They are actually there at a fair price. Of course, mm. you need to pay because no one will want to render his services for free and all of that. So then it's just interesting to know that it is okay for you to visit such countries and then have fun, visit different places. Like we've been talking about visiting different places in Burkina Faso, talking about um, the activities being done, the locations you find yourself to go and dance, the festive periods and all of that. I think we should take a time and when we come back, we'll talk about the different things about Burkina Faso and their food and all of that. Why are you doing that for <laughs> I want you to just relax. Why is it funny thing though, I understand. I'm going to show you something after this show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be taking the time out just to breathe in and out and when we come back we'll tell you more about Burkina Faso. I hope you're having fun. Please don't touch that and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us on the Midday Show Live on your television international. We're still talking about Burkina Faso. I hope you're you're having fun with us just the way we are doing. I still have Tony in the studio with me. Definitely. Welcome back, Tony. Definitely. You have to have me in the studio. To make I told you studio. bring down your shoulder pad. My shoulder pad. Bring it down because it's too high. Do you know one thing I, I actually observe on this set? Because I went to wear suits. Decided to go and wear suits. Who oh, wants suits first? <laughs> <laughs> so that your shoulder, so your shoulder pad will be higher than mine. See, so your own is higher than so, my own already. So it's like it's like a competition. I'll be no problem, no problem. Let's let's you get right? let's get let's get on it. Ah, Show me that's what ah. you want. I want to buy. Anyways, suit. I've done. I've been taking. Suit. You see, but now we're talking about how calm the people in Burkina Faso are. But have, you're no, not calm. No, no, we, no. You're supposed I, to I be told calm you, today. I, I, like... I didn't tell you I was going to be calm. I only said I was going to be honest. But like from the beginning, you were not honest. I am. Anyways. Anyways, best things to do in Ogadogo, which is the capital city of Burkina mm. Faso, is to visit the Grand Marsh. Okay? You can find almost anything in this market. Mm. Like, almost anything in this market. Fans of West African fabric and textiles mm. will be in heaven. Whoa. <laughs> Ogadogo's mm -hmm. Grand Marsh also has sections that cater to tourists. So, you find... Um, the cook trinkets and souvenirs in addition in vegetables and housewares yes. and all of that. So it means you find virtually everything. Second hand or brand new. Everything Ev virtually everything in this particular place. Here. So just visit this place and get um, all the souvenirs you want just to, to come back. Just money. Of course. Uh, you won't just go to the market without so everything. Like don't go window shopping. Standard. Somebody like that, you can go window shopping. Though, so the second place will <laughs> The second thing to do is 
you visiting the artisan market and that you will notice right away about the wagadogu being full of art and then the the, the, art, the artists sell their work on the street or, or inside the hotel lobbies and then they sell art galleries and then museums and it made wagadogu feel unique among the other cities in the region when i visited <laughs> There's an official village artisana in Wagadogo where you can buy anything from the trinkets to the sculptures to musical instruments. And then there are other markets closer to the center of the town. One place that I enjoyed while I was there mm. is near what you call the Rond Bot Destination Unes. <laughs> <laughs> you, I know you don't well, understand no, this. Please I know let you don't me understand. understand. No, I know, no, for you to understand, I, okay, I think I would have to think of taking you along with me next time i will travel to wagadogo mm. that's but Burkina Faso. so you see some of these things on your own because you already have been doubting me right from the beginning of the show about my being honest or not so to clear all uncertainties and um, doubts that you already have embodied inside of you mm. i think i was just best of me to just um, travel with you and you know one of the little things I do just to show you off the place and then to like, help the less privileged, le right? That's what I do for a living. Mm. So I can understand the feeling mm. of you being a lower me a lower person or personnel to what I obtain as regards traveling experience and explorations in lives. I mean, in life in general. So I understand your feeling, though. I understand your state that you are in. So it's 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 normal. It's normal. <sighs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the land of the living. <laughs> so this particular place is a place that is basically built for anything that has to do with art. art. There you get to see a lot of handmade things, sculptures, a, a lot of things that you can as well find inside the museums. Like it's just basically art. So if you are not a lover of art, probably Don't you won't find here interesting. Yeah, okay. So you should be a lover of art first before visiting this particular place. Then you see the Wagadogo Cathedral. They said the official name is the Cathedral the Immaculate Conception. The Wagadogo <laughs> and it dates to the 1930s. So the unique orange cathedral is definitely worth a visit. So you can buy plenty of religious souvenirs at the entrance. You need to visit this place. Because when I you visited travel, it. you need to have you? Yeah, when I visited okay. it was during weekend, so I on Sunday, of course, I visited this cathedral, and it was—I think it was a nice experience. I must confess, out you of have honesty, to confess. out of honesty. You see, now we're talking about being honest. Out of honesty. Okay. Emphasis on the honesty. Okay, fine. Yeah. Visit the museum, the National Museum, and then is a bit outside of the center along the the Boulevard Charles de Gaulle. You know, uh, most things, uh, I think um, their official language is French, right? Yeah, true, French. So that's why most of all these words is... Um, French related, or they are French words. Yeah, actually. But any green shared taxi can take you there in between 20 to 40 minutes, depending on traffic. Or if your green taxi just randomly runs out of gas in the middle of the street like mine. <laughs> Someone is trying to talk about visiting this museum and then the distance from where you are to the place because okay, it's, it's, it's more like it's a bit um, like Far. outside, like outside where you from are, like city. yes, from the main city. But then said one part of the museum changes every few months to highlight another part mm. of the Burkina Bay culture. The other part is for masks and traditional costumes. The masks are amazing and make the visit worth it. Even if you feel like you're going to suffocate in hot, hot buildings, <laughs> be sure to enjoy the air conditioning in the entrance building before you go back into the heat. <laughs> so it's more like when you go back, you come back, just receive the AC and then go back again. More like, anyways, it's still more like an adventure. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> there's this feeling where you know or you are being sure of the fact that this place I'm going, like I think I'm going to be, I'm going to have the best of experience. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have the best of time there. And then there's a place that sometimes when you go to a place and then you are being suffocated with heat and stuff, like you don't even get to comfortably mm -hmm. get to experience a lot of things that you would want to get to know mm -hmm. because of the distraction, the inconvenience of this place and all of that. But then for the fact that AC, to be specific, is assured Available. here, I think it's a place that you should want to spend even a, a time even than expected and you know just have a lot of experience and then enjoy yourself at the fullest then i think we have um, the musical instrument museum and which um is a place that i love 
so well because of air conditioning that I experienced well I visited there and they have a room for portraits of great pokinable musicians and that the entrance comes with a thaw with a thaw rather in France where they explain all the families of instruments <coughs> to you and then the tour includes other details like which instruments are only allowed to be played by women for example and then the museum also has a cold room where you can try to play a selection of traditional instruments yourself. yourself so it boils down to your being a music lover if you are not a music lover probably you will not find it Absolutely. interesting but a music lover like i am i feel like there are a lot of things i got to do here i played that i played these things that even if i mention their names to you no, no. So there's no need to. there's no need for me to mention there's no mention there's just leave. but then it was an experience worthwhile Thank you for sharing your experience. experience yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> we have the park or bang. Um, it is a zone and uh, it is in the zone du bois and is open daily from sunrise to sunset. Mm. And then this is one of the more relaxed things to do in Wagadogo. But be sure to bring enough sun protection and water if you are there during the hot season. Like I said, Wagadogo is where almost everything is happening. True. Like all the activities happen there. The, the, a lot of locations that you want to find yourself, that you want to do, is in Wagadogo, which is the capital city. And then you should take, of course, sun. Of course, you need sun shades and all of that to protect yourself. And then don't go eaten by it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, Make so sure don't go <laughs> get eaten by a crocodile. The entrance you will want is along the road to so the place and then you share taxis and all of that. So then this is another place again for one to visit. But so then they careful. have a lot of things to do in Wagadugu especially and then you just need to be careful as we always say, mm -hmm. you find yourself <clears> in a country, you just need to be careful about um, the places you go to, things you do and words of your mouth. Because sometimes there are places where they tell you there are words you're not supposed to utter. Mm. By the time you see it now, you end up being in trouble and all of that. So True. then you just need to be careful and all of that. So then we've said almost um, a lot Everything. of things about um, places to visit, things to do and all of that. So then we're going to talk about food. Of course, you can't talk about it in a country and then you Stomach let food is, out of it. Food. Is very food. Is very very important. Ah, I have to smile, man. Will so I be angry with food? <laughs> it is best for food. You cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the bab. Ba babenda. Babenda. Yeah, this babenda is actually widely consumed and then tends to be one of the one pot dish that is generally prepared using bitter greens including kale, spinach, mustard greens and then Swiss chard. And then one interesting ingredient added to this dish includes fermented locust beans, one also known as the dawa dawa. I think dawa dawa, I think dawa, it's, dawa. I think it's, it's locust bean, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yeah, so is it? Wow. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Is the other one not an African? Mm, outside name? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised. Then we have the Wadawa. Then um, it adds a pungent flavor to the dish that is suggestive to blue cheese. And then it's also combined with smoke or dry fish. The whole mixture is typically mixed with rice to prepare the babenda. And then a smooth portion of fish, bitter greens, rice, and then this um, bola. Like, I think this is actually a nice food to taste, if not for anything, because of the presence of dawadawa that I am, Do you like to some it? extent, familiar with. Okay, so that's why you just want to. Mm, I just want to have the variety of how the ass is done, like, taste their own variety, to okay. see how different it tastes True from though. ours. We have the riz grass. It's a one pot dish that is prepared using white rice, mm. tomato paste, and vegetables, including eggplants, carrots, onions, chili peppers, and garlic. And then all the ingredients are boiled in a rice stew. The dish is then accompanied by some strands of raw onions that are added on top. Mm. The rice grass is considered to be the national dish of Burkina Faso. It is French for fat rice. And then some people add meat to this dish, which is first browned. Another important ingredient added to rice grass is peanut oil, which gives the dish its name. Many people in Burkina Faso consider this simple dish to be the ideal comfort food. It is packed with certain important nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, and vegetables. It looks inviting, of course. So then this is one of the meal ones should actually try. Not just try, but then have it more like... Mm -hmm. Let me be honest with you. 
I think Dolly Tim inviting here is it's a cheap thing. <laughs> <laughs> but the rice actually is inviting, but you just need to taste it. Mm. The difference is the taste. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We have the mafi, <clears throat> and the mafi is known as something that is locally it's made, <laughs> and then it's a peanut stew that is either made using lamb, beef, or chicken, and then the dish is uh, prepared with peanut sauce, and then other ingredient include sweet potatoes, vegetables, and onions. This dish is uh, indigenous to Mali's Madinka and then the Bambara peoples. However, it is considered as a stable food in West Western Africa and then also widely consumed throughout Burkina Faso. And there are many variations of this dish, but some of these commonly are ingredients added, which include chicken, onions, tomato, garlic, and then the root vegetables. Other versions of this dish use Stuff like um, the cinnamon, okra, carrot, hot pepper, corn, paprika, turmeric, honey, black pepper, hot pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, blue pepper, and then additional spices. <laughs> I know you are wondering where I got to this Blue pepper, pepper like I don't understand. <laughs> I think pepperish. Just add it. Just add it. Add it. <laughs> <laughs> to, give it as, to give it that additional taste. Okay. That you <laughs> probably would have been looking for. There's another meal here. They call it to. Like to new. I invented it. Excuse me. Yeah, Please tell me about it's it. It's an iPhone from my name. <laughs> okay. So you tell me about your food. <laughs> <laughs> to is an ugali like dish that includes cooked millet, corn or sorghum, and then all the ingredients are properly mixed until a smooth paste is obtained. Mm. It is typically accompanied by stews and sauces that are prepared using meat or vegetables. The dough-based dish is usually paired with okra sauce, prepared by gradually steaming okra in water, along with seasonings like salt and pepper. To is never consumed on its own, mm. always alongside soups, stews, or sauces. It's more like swallow. It's, 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 so it's it, so like, it, it looks um, like semovita. Yeah, Okay, this is actually I think, good. I think yeah, I would love to love I would love to try, try. this with okra. Because yeah. I think I, I, I invented this to my tasting. So okay. okra was actually the basic the basic um, soup that was supposed to be eaten with uh to. Then we have the yasa chicken. <coughs> the yasa chicken is also called the pule yasa. And then it's a dish made using chicken that is marinated from the whole night with onions, lemon juice, and then mustard. A combination of several herbs and then spice such as the cayenne pepper and then parsley and garlic is also added to enhance the flavor and usually consumed with white rice so i think it's something that is worth trying you get because because of the even for anything i think because of the um, chicken that is involved yeah you can actually eat it with couscous too so it can be accompanied with couscous it can be accompanied with everything so long there is chicken you will definitely like enjoy it. No, you enjoy what is what you enjoy whatever like thing. Salad. No, you enjoy whatever thing that chicken tends to be present in. True though. I that, because even the 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 the, the, the should I say the smell? The aroma. The too. aroma. Sorry, the aroma of the chicken alone, I think, would invite you to eating whatever thing that comes. Even without the, the aroma, just the sight of it alone. Oh, that is the <laughs> anyways, power of the chicken. last meal we're going to talk about fufu. is fufu. Oh my said God. fufu is a type of huge dumpling prepared using a mixture of cassava and green plantain flour. Both the ingredients are accompanied in equal portions with water and then cooked on the pan over a low flame. The prepared mixture is then moistened using lukewarm water and shaped into a bowl. It is eaten with fingers <laughs> and is used to scoop up another food in the plate, particularly sauces and soups. Fufu is also a stable dish of many other countries throughout Africa. We true, know all these true, things. True, like, we know, we it know. is just... We can relate. Completely relate we to are aware. But then, you don't use your fingers too. You, of, push, you, you use push your... In, in the touch, of yeah, course, don't you use, use your... The cutlery the, and stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like this cut? What time to waste? <laughs> I'll tell you something funny about going to a Chinese restaurant <laughs> using chopsticks. Have it's, you seen that? Yeah, no <laughs> Anyways, don't go and don't show imagine, yourself. Don't then. imagine it. <laughs> but then it's just interesting to know that when you visit such countries, just learn. 
But then stick to what works for you. Stick to what, <laughs> if your hand works for you, Please. like dig in. Dig like don't just bother about brother. saying it. Don't go and form what you Believe you enjoy it more. Honestly, you mm. enjoy it more and then you... But then it doesn't mean you shouldn't give room for other tryouts. Of course, I say you need to try it. But if you think trying it is going to be a problem to you, just stick to what you know and then that's all. True. Anyways, it's interesting to know we talked about um, Burkina Faso and it was actually an exciting moment talking about mm, it. Thank funny. you so much for doing I love you too. <laughs> I, can't I know you love that. me too. You can't say it, but then <laughs> it's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyways, we'll do this again next time. Of course. Thank you, viewers, for staying with us and watching today's episode of the Midday Show Live on Echo Television International. I hope you had fun. Please do have a blessed day.